Well, you can call me a firm believer in the talents our next guest continues to bless us with, both on and off screen. If you've seen her in action on Shadowhunters or Raising Dion, just to name a few, then you know what we mean. So when this lovely lady even remotely implies that there's something wrong with the children, we better believe this woman. Because I do. You should be with your parents. It's okay. He's just playing. Lucy. Can I show you a trick? Sure. Oh, Lucy, I think we should stay by the cabin with your parents. I'll get up soon. What? I want to play with you now. Oh, Lord, there is definitely something wrong with that child. Taking the lead in this thriller of a film is an actress who's proving to be a force in Hollywood and the Cottagecore universe. Please welcome the incredibly talented, the remarkable, and the amazing Alicia Wayne. I need that to be my alarm when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> say, say less. It will be. And then, and then after one day, you're like, en enough of this screaming woman. Snooze. <laughs> en enough of this mad woman. Stop it already. But that's how, but listen, listen. First of all, when some, I was telling them earlier, when someone says there's something wrong with the children, you're like, oh, what's wrong? Are they hungry? Do they need sleep? Oh, this is not the case, especially when it's a Blumhouse production. I just know. <sighs> listen, these children on, uh, off, screen were delightful but they had such an incredible gift of getting on camera and being so so creepy <laughs> you're telling like even just the trailer alone just makes me say i do not like i love kids and everything and i'm really because i'm a big kid at heart but those ones i don't know I, I would be scared to be in the same room with them if you're not there yeah, and I think they're at that age, too, where they know they're creepy. So, <laughs> like, da David, the little boy, uh -huh. was just even, he was, like, creeping in the corners behind trees. <laughs> like, oh, he really took pleasure in trying to get you freaked out. Um, Brielle was just a little bit more of, like, a girly girl, so she just wanted to hang out, you know? Okay, so <laughs> so it just, took some of the pressure. Okay, so let's just explain uh, the two very different family dynamics in the film, because it's not your kids, in the, not, not your TV no. or film kids. These are a finally. So, yeah, I know, right? Because you, you've de you've you've done this for the last time we saw you. So explain the dynamics and how your your character and those kids get to come together and uh, freak us out. So the movie is set in a situation where two different couples, one that has children and one does that doesn't, come together for a, a weekend away to just enjoy each other. And my uh, character is the child-free one with her husband, uh, played by Zach Gilbert. And we are enjoying our lives, we love our lives, and then we decide to try and help our friends out and take the kids for a Ooh, night yeah, so that yeah. they can have an, a night alone only to discover that they're super creepy and weird and something happened to them in the night and no one really sees it except for uh, the character Ben, Zach's character. And then by the end of the movie, I am fully aware that there's something not okay with the children. And <laughs> there's a lot of running and fear and, you know, their, their main goal is to do some pretty naughty stuff. Sorry, that's me covering my face from just the clips. I, the... <laughs> no, I'm, I, I'm the biggest voice you ever meet in your entire life. But you, you are a pro at this, at working with kids, because you also got to do this in Raising Dion. I know, I know. And, and it's funny because it's like once I started working with kids, they're like, oh, she's good at it. So let's mm -hmm. just keep, keep adding on to the next project. But what's, what's fun about this one is that my character actually does not have maternal instincts, whereas in Raising <laughs> Dion, my character, like, is like super mom, you know. In mm -hmm. this movie, I, my my character literally is like trying to to make these kids go away. <laughs> but see, it's it's interesting that you say super mom because in real life, I see you as super Alicia. Just so oh, you know, because that's... what did you study in college? Because it wasn't even acting you studied. What did you study? No, I studied botany. So I was a scientist before I became an actor. Of course you were, Alicia. Of course you were. <laughs> of course you were. Are Jack you of all me? trades. Like, are you, are you kidding me? Do you have a lot of plants now? Are you still, are you like a plant whisperer? Well, the, the funny thing is, is the ones that are alive in my apartment are alive 
through the sheer will, but because I kill them all. Yeah. And so the things that, that are alive here have stood the test of time and they just, they have a strong will to live. But just because I know how plants function does not mean I know how to take care of them. I don't believe them. you. I don't believe you, Super Alicia. I don't believe you. But but in addition to all, all your superpowers, baking is also another superpower you have. Or should we say a super skill? Thank you. I like to think so. I, and I just got a puppy. He's a, um, a four month old uh, Swiss mountain dog mix. And I've been learning how to get into like dog treats. So oh. baking dog treats, but I also do cakes. I did a big chocolate, like chocolate cake for Christmas. Um, they don't always look super good. I mean, the photo you're using, I mean, that, that cake looks pretty good for an at-home chef, if I do say so myself. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to make things look great. No, but you do. Good. It's not for you know. You, like, please, no, you do. It, everything, everything you do looks great to me. And by the way, I don't know if you were, you heard me earlier because who doesn't hear me? My loud voice. I was saying that you're you're killing it in the cottage core universe. Explain what that means. So cottage core is an internet aesthetic where essentially you want to go back to the prairie times where you, you know, churn your own butter and you, you have your own chickens and, and this sort of like going back to the land, uh, which is such a millennial thing. When you live in a city, all you want to do is kind of go back to rural life. So uh, I've been spending a lot of time uh, off into the woods up, up north in vineyard country and uh, gardening and making pies and wearing a lot of you know, sundresses. Uh, so that, that to me is what cottage core is. I love it so much. It's very aesthetically pleasing. Which is, which is kind of, yeah, it's kind of like in the same vein as what you do in the movie, because you go into the woods, you go to a cottage, you go to a cabin, yeah. but then without the, the creepiness and craziness. But covered in blood. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Just, so we got it. Same, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, same idea, but different, you know, <laughs> levels. But here, here's the deal, everyone. Go check out her movie. There's something wrong with the children. It's on digital and on demand today and will be available on NGM Plus on March 17th. Alicia, nice to meet you. Thank you, OG. I'm going to go into the so cottage much. with you as long as the kids don't show up. Bye. Um, if I bring kids, um, yeah, watch your back. All right, thank you. <laughs>